Hi everyone! So this is going to be the second uh, part of the video that I uploaded yesterday because I just did not get to mention a couple of things that I think are quite important and there were um, some questions. So let's dive into it. So um, here you can see the material that, uh, that I created yesterday and as you can see I used the, the make it tile filter to make it, make it seamless. And yesterday I mentioned that you can add something called dirt. It's like a dirt generator. And as you can see that it's already sitting in this creases and, and um, it creates a certain effect on the surface. Uh, you can choose from multiple options, of course. How do, you want, how do you want to edit this material? You can change the roughness, the quantity, volume, speed, contrast, and a bunch of other things. But if you open that is dirty mode, you can change it to grunge map and then it will give you a whole different result. Here you can see. It looks really nice. And uh, you can even use your own grunge maps, for example, on the custom uh, base color that, where you can change the blending mode. For example, to overlay. This is a really interesting um, effect. <laughs> Let's leave it to multiply. You can change the opacity and, of course, the color of the color of the crunch. See what happens with it. Yeah. So, like here, you can see when you set it to blue, that it's really interesting. Yeah. So. You can use a custom grunge map, so you can basically you, you can upload your own own grunge map, and you can invest. So now this is how it looks when you upload your own grunge map. This is from Substance City Designer. This uh, this grunge map that I exported. So this is about the dirt, dirt generator. And there is one more thing there that is really important, I think. For example, you can change the hue and the saturation of a material with this slider. And this is really cool. But what else you can do with it is that if you click on this little pin, you can expose this parameter and if you send the material to stager then you can just change this in, in, in stager whenever you whenever you want and you don't have to always come back for the editing the material so let's make this like orange orangey i want to change this back to adaptive Surface. And then we can send this material to the stage where I already have this scene ready. And I just go to send to substance the stager. And here we go. Is the material that we created. I have another camera view. Where is it? Here you go. Let's change the focus a little bit. Of course, we can make the resolution higher that we have more, more details. We get to see all the all the details seen in the light. Okay. 
And here you can see the parameters that were exposed. So you can just, with this slider, you can just change the hue in the situation. And then you can just change down other materials according to this. So that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one.